Hello, and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be starting. Uh, with a rather graceful Kerbal at our intro. So, as the plaque says, we're doing the Apollo Applications Program, which was a very real and very cancelled, unfortunately, uh, program that began... Or that would have begun after what's basically this mission, Apollo 20, which in our timeline never happened. Because after Apollo 17, Congress decided to be dicks and cancel the Apollo program. However, even if it had gone all the way up to 20, there still was nothing planned after that. Which is where the Apollo Applications Program comes in. Uh, basically, the goal of this concept was to take everything we've learned here on the moon and sort of see what we can do with it. I'm gonna turn this down. I, eh, is fine? Uh,. So, generally, uh, yeah, this would be the final mission of Apollo. And then you would have the applications program, which we will snap cut to you right about now. After a rather long wait to get into the proper transfer window, we now have our first mission, Apollo Eve, which, because Eve is the basic in-game version of Venus, compared to Moho being Mercury, this is the, uh, well, the closest we could do to uh, the Apollo Venus mission, which was basically just a manned flyby. So, you know, fly by Eve, come back to Kerbin, but by doing this flyby, we get so much more science and more information, especially having a live crew instead of just machines. So with that said, let's get into orbit with our modified Saturn V. Now you'll notice that there is no lander or anything. Just, uh, you know, I did put an extra little crew bay. Give, give these brave Kerbals some more space to move around while they're zooming through space. So it's a fairly straightforward ascent, um, as well as put some more uh, solar panels and parachutes on. But yeah. Um, not really sure what else to say here. Other than if, you know, if you're liking the video so far, maybe consider dropping a comment, dropping a like, uh, you know, maybe even subscribe, because that'll definitely help the channel grow, we all, and I know that I need that. I need every sub I can get. Um, yeah, maybe check out my other content, because especially watching it to the end helps get promoted more, helps the channel get recommended in YouTube's algorithm. So, you know, the longer you actually watch uh, these videos, the more it really helps. Um, with that said, I guess back to this. Also, I, I did just kind of slap the guy's battery on, because you can't exactly have solar panels sticking out of the atmosphere. Uh, yeah. I guess it's just... Uh, Crossfade to uh, our orbital insertion for Eve. Right then, we can finally deploy all of our, well, deployable unfoldy bits as we're in orbit. And as well, we have a perfect transfer lined up. Granted, there'll need to be some. Editing on the way, 
As you can see, we're going way down. That'll fuck up our return trajectory. So yeah, we're uh, early golden at this point. I just want to give a huge shout out to wh whoever makes the Kerbal Alarm Clock mod. They're a god to your player. Like, they, they have saved me so much of my own sanity. You know, let's turn on the lights as well, because I feel like that's realistic. Also, I just noticed there's... they forgot to texture blue on this little bit of the parachute. I'm not going to be able to unsee that. Well, with, uh, with that said, three, two, one, burn. I mean, at least even with that minor little parachute dot, the textures overall look great, especially since the update. Like, that plant, that's like natural planet shine almost. Uh. I don't know why we're going up a little bit. I guess it's like the way we're being flung out because we're equatorial. Any like math people might be able to answer that, but I don't do math, so. Uh, I guess it, we'll just like kind of leave it at the will of the Kraken or something. No, maybe if, maybe if we're lucky, we can get a ghillie flyby. Is you know as irrelevant, like truly irrelevant as Gilly, uh, bleh, truly as irrelevant as Gilly is, it just still got a flyby from somebody now and then. So you know. Can we get uh, some likes for Gilly in the comments, please? And there we go! <sighs> We're now flying right towards uh, Eve. We should probably check out where... Oof. Oof. We gotta get this shit equatorial now. Like, goddamn. No, oh, ah. I don't want to untarget Eve yet. Alright, so. Uh, if y'all can hear that, just ignore that. That's background noise from. <laughs> Jesus! Not the backer noise is from Jesus. Uh, it's yes, I would pretty much like uh like our encounter with Eve back, please. Forgot this thing was on ten. Like Yeah, that'll that'll work. Just, or actually, we should probably to prevent debris. Just throw the smaller stage right into the right into E, rather. Do one. Let's just go to Eve, make sure that everything is going to plan. There we go. And goodbye, transfer stage. It's been fun. We'll probably forget about you, quite honestly. Right now, let's just enjoy the Eve flyby. See, everyone's happy, so there's no problem here whatsoever. And there it is. Da, 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 da. Let's see if we can get Eve out of our
And just another little cheek little screenshot there. And beautiful. Let's just get real close, real close. Yeah, so this would generally be the, I guess, the science aspect of the mission for Apollo Venus. Um, they're probably like, you know, sciencey shit in there. Probably an EVA, perhaps. Make sure everything works still after however long we've been up here. Um, I wonder. You know what? Let's see if uh, let's see if Valentina's face can smash uh, smash the solar panels. Yep, it can. That was. Wait. Can I get another one? Oh, damn it. Yeah, this is... This, this is why I shouldn't be trusted with an EVA jetpack. I just do stupid shit with it. And... Oh, in between. Right, let's uh, get back to the actual science thing. I'm, I'm not even touching your jetpack and it's still going. Yep, see, there's our experiment. Let's get back in. Da, 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 da. Grab that. In you go. Crew report. Yeah, no shit, it's purple. Did I say purple? Eh, good enough. So now let's... This is the part where we say goodbye to Eve. Thank you for letting us do science, Eve. Appreciation for Eve in the comments. Probably. Maybe. Probably not. And now we're uh, in the sun. So, yeah, uh, that would, this would probably be, if they hadn't planned it already, because they probably would have done better than I am at this game. Well, NASA, I mean. Oh, look, actually it is easy to go back, never mind. So now... We can just watch as our heroes prepare to enter the atmosphere as they nosedive, apparently. Actually, no. Alright, finally time. After all this time. Y'all probably can't see this, but... Here comes the arrow break. Well, okay, I admit I had to fudge some things, reload some things, but, you know, it's still technically an arrow break, using the atmosphere as the brakes, so, yeah, we're good. Oh, you'll love to see that. Sorry about entering on the dark side, but, you know, I guess this is the closest. Besides, we've all seen re-entries before. Oh shit, we're above mountains. And eh, never mind, we're fine. 
Let's just drop the heat show just for shits and giggles. Yay, explosions! Is that a, are these service features? I think. Pretty sure that's a service feature. Oh. Well. Now is the real test of the reaction wheels. Can they survive hitting the ground at 5 meters a second? Apparently they can. Well, that, uh... That concludes... That concludes episode 1 the same way we started it. A clumsy Kerbal in a spacesuit. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.